Morning all, let's do a group of free puzzles this morning. So this is a play rate puzzles on chessboard.net. Let's click start. So black to play here, interesting. Intuitively, uh, the king hasn't got uh, too many places to run. It's kind of in the corner. It looks as though, yeah, there should be a forcing sequence. Actually, there is a very attractive forcing move I can see in this position, which actually looks fairly clear cut. I hope you can see it. I'm going to play it in five seconds. Just checking as well. Oh, maybe it's not entirely. Not entirely clear, actually. It takes, let's have a look without actually playing it. it takes, check. I was thinking king g2, queen h3, but what if king g3 and queen h3, king f4, and then what? <laughs> So actually, does that change what the solution could be here? Actually, there's queen g5 check, pushing the king to uh, h2. I think that makes it work. Takes, takes, check. King here, I think we play queen g5. We actually create that opposition, pushing the king back. So not, not encouraging the king to go to f4, pushing the king back to h2, then queen h4, king g2, queen h3. I think I'm going to go for it. Yep. Now queen g5, I think, key move, as mentioned. And then, now just to show that, what I was concerned with was actually this position. Yeah. If we go with queen h3 check here, King f4, the king's running away, and we're probably going to lose. Uh, I mean, it's still dangerous, but you know, got things like rook g4. So we can see what master game this came from. This was a. So Laska actually was on the receiving end of Breyer. I think Breyer, wasn't he the one that said after one e4, White's games, White's game is in its last froze? Was that Breyer? <laughs> check, yes, check. Rook takes e4, yes. Crushing tactic here. Yeah. Tactics. Absolutely crushing tactics. What what a game by Breyer. Actually, I let's have a look at that again. He seemed to play this exceptionally energetically. The queen first went to a5, then went back to d5, then d6. And then this remarkable, well, knight e5. So he's got the pin there on the bishop. And then the beautiful check. This is beautiful tactical game. Because if takes, we have bishop takes e4 check, winning the queen. What a beautiful tactical game this is. And a sparkling finish. Wow. Now, also, by the way, I, I've added, I was a bit concerned yesterday, I was doing some wrong analysis later. It'd be nice to actually check a little bit more. And I've actually put a play against the computer, which is Garbo Chess, activated. And unfortunately, I, I'm not yet competent to, to manage Garbo Chess to actually auto flip the board. If you're a guru, by the way, could you let me know how to get it to flip the board and start analyzing? Because then we could you know, flip board and start, or just flip board, you know, automatically without having to click here. Um, so anyway, play with the black pieces. We can click flip board there at least, and try this against the computer, just to make sure it's it's bulletproof. I think this one is absolutely bulletproof. We're gonna make the computer. Yeah, checkmate, we can see the hash sign. So we can try that. And we can also try and get the computer uh, Let's click change size, try and get the computer to, to find. So we have to put in a token move there at the moment. It's not ideal yet. But the computer will find the solution for us as well. Yeah, Queen G5. It's it's pretty good actually. Chess computer, Garbo Chess. So just trying to apply it here to get some more context around these positions. I don't want to sort of spout garbage after. <laughs> 
So, you know, bad analysis. So uh, that hopefully is going to help uh, things here. So there's those two options now. And also it might help you when you're doing these puzzles. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so white play. Um, rookie six, is there is a pin, right? But check, we'll take the queens off, maybe. Okay, what do we notice? The diagonals are dangerous. There might be some forcing moves available. Actually, I'm not really sure about anything like rookie six. This pin, all right, start looking at forcing moves again, and then, then try and maybe switch back and forth to try and get more intuitively about the position. Like rookie six, the diagonals are pretty, pretty dangerous. Rook takes. What about their king at h2? So if takes, there's rook takes g6, double check, which would force king there. And actually bishop g7 is, is mating. That's very interesting, just to actually not take here, but king h2. And after taking this, to use this double check, yeah, it's, I, I, was, I was prepared there to flip back at an intuitive level, just to try and get some insights. But it seems you know, this diagonal is pretty critical. Now let's have a look. Rook takes e6 again. Knight takes, say. The thing is, bishop takes. Takes? Rook takes. We end up winning the rook there. Because if rook takes, there's queen takes queen. This is very interesting. Now hang on, there's always knight takes. That can't be right. Rook takes, knight takes. That cannot be uh, right, can it? Um, <laughs> bishop takes. Okay, rook takes. Let's try this again. Knight takes, bishop takes, bishop takes. Hmm, fascinating. This, this could be really quite tricky, actually. There's actually, I've noticed another idea, just queen f6. Just queen f6, ignoring this uh, stuff on this diagonal. Queen f6, just trying to mate on g7. Hold on a sec. Knight f5 as an example. Well, there's rook takes f5 there. And that is really dangerous, threatening queen f8. And if takes, then there's queen g5, check. And, well, no, uh, sorry, sorry, quick. Queen f6, knight f5, take, and we're going to make it on g7. Actually, queen f6 is actually a lot more convincing uh, than that stuff just mentioned. Queen f6 now takes king h2. So if knight f5, rook takes f5, and we're going to, like, that's pawn's pin. So if it takes there, then there. And we're threatening also queen f8. That is fairly convincing. I think I'm going to go with this. Yeah, I, I, I'm glad. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, th I think, um, first of all, let's check the master game, not the ever against. Can we actually gather anything while we're here from the master game? Sorry, not Motlev, not Motlev, Motlev. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, those dark squares were weakened. Black did give up that. That's a pretty dangerous thing to do. Knight f5. Pretty nice move there. A very nice move just to get into that, create that weakness of the last move to get into f6. And that's that's crushing. If knight f5, I think there's rook f5. But we can see the resistance uh, if we check. Uh, you know, if, if knight e8, we've got queen f8. We can see the resistance if we check with the computer now. We can, hopefully we can smash the computer from this position with queen f6 if this really is uh, a strong thing <laughs> yeah the computer is giving queen g2 ah that is interesting what about well vaguely f3 it's 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 gonna throw in loads of checks Ah, oh, I managed to lose the queen. <laughs> That's a cracker. I've managed to lose the entire position. So we're going to have to 
to, to start this again click change size and change size again actually maybe that needs a, a an extra restart thing as well um okay take two take two queen f6 it's funny when you try and actually beat the computer sometimes ridiculous things happen uh because it will put up maximum resistance now here rook f5 I'm wondering if King H2 oh <laughs> it's defended it's defended for the moment hold on hold on I'm crashing through a bishop e6 uh, that doesn't seem entirely convincing uh, actually does it Let, let's 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 do that again let's do that again <laughs> What, why why isn't this so easy it all starts as we're ridiculous okay what, what did I say here f3 all right so not king takes what about just just here king f2 then then this is totally pointless right <laughs> okay actually I swear it's it's an additional challenge to actually try and beat the computer or get a completely convincing position it's it's as you can see it's an additional challenge to add to the mix and if if we try to get the computer to play the position uh, let's play with black it, it goes with rook c5 maybe this could be a viable uh, alternative it must be uh, a viable alternative and if we take this takes the Queen that's the computer solution rook c5 I I wonder about that if we just do undo move for a moment I, I guess there's nothing else to do if we go here it will go in with Queen f6 and then all right it's wanting to smash up over there instead yeah everything's falling to bits all right it's just an interesting uh, an extra uh, insight let's 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 go on to the next puzzle <clears throat> into that same position an extra insight so um white play here okay there is a kind of pin on f7 yeah there's a pin pawn here power of the pin piece is illusionary or pawn so yeah that's actually helped me prioritize the forcing move rook e6 now if that's not available then knight e6 then maybe queen f7 and that's really dangerous king yet we can take the rook it looks exceptionally uh dangerous and there doesn't seem to be too much else at the moment visually uh, to do apart from rookie six so I, I'm going to start off with rookie six I'm hoping this is it looks you know quite destructive uh, to here take with the Queen I believe something's gonna fall off yeah uh, Elizabeth has how did you get this great position sharp Sicilian e5 there now although e5 is a bit loose for white yeah the, the files have been open to the king uh, tearing to shreds there and if we just if we just check that against the computer again okay so we're going to smash the computer I hope with rook e6 but let's see the resistance offered okay the computer's going to play this to the bit rend I think rook d well, I think we'll take can we not uh <laughs> it's it's not as as I say it's it's to the bit end resistance but actually you know it, it kind of might have a point here hold on a sec unless there's something really convincing Queen takes c6 
Yeah, I think I'm smashing the computer now in a convincing uh, manner. I'm <laughs> sort of. Uh, it's it's big material up. Basically, can, can the computer do any better? I'm, I'm going to give try and give a token move. It's actually very difficult to give a token move. Uh, so can the computer do any better? I'm going to try and just, let's see what the computer does. Then that then that path I've just I'm going to go with the computer's path here. It comes up with knight d5. You see, this is interesting. How uh, you can see maximum resistance when playing against computer and maximum resourcefulness here. Knight d5. Now, why why is that so destructive? If we take All oh, right, yeah, it's getting a bit horrible, and there's gonna be a back row mate. Yeah, knight d5. That that, and if we try something else here, uh, then that rook's lost. So knight d5. Yeah, that is pretty crushing after rook f7. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's just feed, feed that through the other way. Let's feed that through the other way. That idea, right? So we're going to really smash black with this knight d5 here. How was it? it? Was off to the check. No, I think I'm getting that wrong. It, it wasn't off to the check. Sorry, <laughs> it was the check here, wasn't it? All right, yeah, because if bishop takes, then uh, rook f7. Aha. Uh -huh. The thing is, here now, well, well actually, we can take the, the rook, right? And we're actually a whole knight up. So that that is pretty convincing to be, to be a whole knight up. <laughs> Although E one, you can see an issue with E one now. Yeah, it's it's amazing resourcefulness, but uh um yeah, I could end up losing it again to rook E one. This this is the funny thing. You try beating the computer even with the winning solution, it's it's actually uh it's it's actually a little tricky. This this really adds a new dimension uh uh okay to things. I'll change sites uh, so I want the white perspective. Surely I can do better here than what was played then. That's just walking into rookie eight. The queen's looking at e1. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Queen's attacked. Uh, I think maybe safer is just Queen G7. Is it, on, on taking, we could play Queen D4. Now that is <laughs> winning the piece, is it? That's almost winning the piece. Um. Yeah, you can see you can see how this is making things a lot trickier. Actually, trying to beat a computer from the position, even with the solution. Uh, okay, let, let let's let's see from from Black's point of view. What did did the computer have in mind in that in that scenario? Then uh, so it was here. Uh, okay, I have to keep track of uh, it. Took with um, took the rook with the queen, and hang on, let's just undo the. And on king b eight, right, th this is it. Where I was playing queen e six here. What is actually the move? Queen g five. 
queen g5 much more accurate than queen e6 queen e6 runs into rook e8 for rook e1 uh it's 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 uh yeah i i i can i can see i can see this is uh holding the piece comfortably now yeah i mean it really is making the most out of the position uh to make sure you can like use the solution even against a hard computer to, to to get a much clearer try and get a much clearer win it's just another area of challenge uh i've just added it here it's 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 trickier than you might think try it yourself and you'll find out it's actually a lot trickier than you think you actually need like the more clinical puzzles where it's like mating or whatever because the computers are so resourceful to come back at you uh that really is it's staggering to see that um okay comments questions likes appreciated thanks very much